This video will show you how you can use the product distribution portal as deployed by Vito to access data from spot vegetation and probably missions and other data which will become available in the future. I will show you how you can search data, how you can access or download single data files, how you can order large amounts of data and subscribe to get future data immediately as soon as it becomes available. The product distribution portal can be reached by this URL www.vito-eodata.be In the home you will get an overview of all the groups of collections which are available and for each collection, for each collection group as for example the spot vegetation free data you can see the different collections like the 3P level 2 segments, the daily products the 10 daily composites. These two are the free S10, as they are called. You can search data anonymously, so you don't need to log in, but as soon as you want to download or access data, we ask you to register on the portal. This can be done by using this registration link. You fill in your contact details, you accept the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are available behind this link. And when you then register, you will automatically get an email with an activation link. When you use this activation link, you automatically are allowed to order or download data from this portal, so no manual intervention is involved. There. Now I will show you how you can search for data. You select a specific collection, for example the NDVI 10 daily composites of spot vegetation. On the search page you will find two parts on the map you can define your region of interest. You can simply drag a region of interest by selecting this tool. Or you can also enter a continent or a country and automatically the corresponding bounding box will be selected. Of course you can also move a region of interest, make it smaller, bigger, whatever you like. You can go again to the full word extent or remove the region of interest again with these buttons. Next to the region of interest, you can also select a time criteria, so we will search for data between a specific start date and a specific end date. Once you have entered your search criteria, you can click on the search button and you will find a list of all products which fulfill your search criteria. You can hover over this list and then automatically in this map part you will see the corresponding bounding box highlighted. You can also click on a link and then you will see the metadata and you can even download the metadata as an XML file. The quick looks can be seen by hovering over this small thumbnail and if you really want to see the quick looks in a larger format you can use this button for each product and then the quick look will be shown on the map and you can zoom in and bump and whatever you like. You can also play with the transparency of the quick look as shown. If you need more information about these buttons, please use this question mark and you will get all the information about it. Next time you want to do probably is download the data. This can be done by these arrows, but you must be logged in as explained before. Now these become enabled and you can immediately download these products. You see here the data file, the metadata file and the quick loop. When you click on it, the data file will become available to download or to open with a tool. Of course this is an easy tool to download one or two products, but if you really want to get large amounts of products, there is the ordering functionality to be used, so you can select several products from the list. You can also go to the next page with the search results and here select another amount of, of products. Mm -hmm. Or you can simply um, select a few of them. In most cases uh, you want to order or download the products as they are, so non-customized. And you can, use, you can do this by using this button, Fast Order by FTP. So if I click on it, immediately the order is placed, so you see it is in production now, and as soon as the order is uh, handled, you will get an email with links 
of the products on the Vito FTP server from which you can download them immediately. The most convenient way to download these is installing a FTP client like FileZilla which, which you can freely download from the internet. Here for example I have an older order so you can browse through your old orders and here you see all the products which were involved in this order and by these arrows you can go to, this, to the single products and then um, download the corresponding files also here so the data file, the quick look and the metadata file now let me show you another example so the previous was a Spotfish Dacian VS10 now let me show you something about ProbaV so the 300 meter 10 daily composites again here you can select a region of interest you can change your data range whatever and you can search for the corresponding products here's again a list um, in this case there are two quick looks provided a red band quick look and an NEVI band quick look which you can also project on the map and zoom in and zoom out whatever you like um, here I will show you how you can make more advanced orders you can select some of all of these products and then you choose prepare order now you get an idea about the size of all these products in this case it's 134 gigabyte about the download time it will take according to your download speed and this is then the list of the products which you can also hide for some users, not for all, but for some users we allow them to uh, ask for product customizations you, so you can ask to clip products according to a specific bounding box you can fill in the coordinates or you can select a, a country for example France or you can simply not choose to clip it mm. you could also have the options to stitch uh, together what does it mean? as you see here on the map we produce the, uh, the V synthesis data as tiles or granules from 10 by 10 degrees so all different uh, files these are much smaller than the global file and hence much easier to download but if you like you can ask for stitching these all together again and then you get one big data file which of course might be more cumbersome to download, to download. you can also um, choose the format GeoTIFF, HF4, HF5 uh, and you can asked to provide only a few bands, for example only the blue band and the NDVI band. So this allows you to customize the product um, if you are allowed to do that. Then you go to the next step and here you can just a moment um, the reason of this error message was that stitching for this amount of products is not allowed because the file size uh, would be too much so I will start again and here you get then the options to um, choose the delivery method you can choose between FTP pool this means that the products will be made available on the FTP server at Vito and you can use an FTP client as FileZilla to download them you can also ask us to push the products towards your FTP server if this is available of course you must enter here your FTP hostname and the user ID and password or you can choose direct download which means that you will make the products available on our HTTP server and you will get simple HTTP URLs for each of the products you can also of course enter the description so later on in your order overview it will become clear what this order was about here this is a nice feature you will see uh, icons in this case these, these are all green meaning that all these products are available on disks when they would not have been available on disk anymore they have to be retrieved from tape which is which takes more time and then this would be indicated by an orange button so orange means it can take uh, a few days before the data is uh, transferred to you because it has to be uh, retrieved again from tape devices so now you can simply also again um, remove some products and at the end submit the order so here you see that our previous order which I made before uh, is already completed so we have received an email now and the new one is in production you can of course also filter on specific orders uh, by using all these filter criteria now let me go back to this um, search option so here I explain to you the catalog search the catalog search works in a way that you search for products 
and then you get a list of products which you can then select and then order them so you get an overview of all the products which fulfill your search criteria and you can then choose to order these when you really want to order a large amounts of data you can use the massive ordering tool as here in the orange tab which is more convenient for large amounts of data you can again define your search criteria you click on order all and now you immediately got into the order panel which means you don't have to select thousands of products maybe from a list of um, products which match your search criteria you can just submit the order as you specified here let's say the query and the system the back uh, backend will find out which products are fulfilling your search criteria um, one of the section which we build in for the massive order is that an the human intervention is needed there so as soon as you make an, a massive order uh, we will check um, uh, whether this really um, makes sense to order this amount of data and we will launch the order uh, when um, this becomes appropriate so you might get uh, notified this uh, when this order will be um, put in production so you have catalog search you have massive orderings and there's another one in blue here the subscription subscription allows you to all the products which will become available in the future so you specify your region of interest as in the catalog search you select a date in the future of course so you say i want to have uh, all products uh, from may 2014 till december 2017 and you then subscribe to it and when you finalize this order automatically when a new product arrives which fulfills this criteria so the bounding box and the temporal extent in this case you will receive the product on your FTP server or available on our FTP server according to your delivery method so let me summarize uh, these five steps the left step goes brings you to the home where you see all the different collections and you can browse the different collections inside one collection group you also have the availability uh, uh, the possibility sorry to go to the project website by using this home link where you find more information about the data and so on then the second tab brings you to the catalog search page the third tab to the results of a catalog search the last one gives you an overview of all the orders and here this is the card so you can immediately order products and they will immediately go into production but you can also choose to add some products to the cart and then they will appear here and then when you decide to order this you can um, select all the products and then launch the order so a cart is a kind of temporary basket with some products which you might order later on i hope this video explained a little bit the functionality of the portal of course uh, if you have more questions uh, there are uh, some options you can consult our help file so if you go for example to the ordering overview and you click on the help button you immediately come into the help section on the ordering overview the ordering follow-up another possibility is to use the frequently asked questions section where you will find um, questions on different kind of subjects please consult this uh, regularly because um, this will be increased with, with additional information in the future if you still found uh, your no answer to your question in, in the help or the fact uh, part, then you can use the contact us possibility. So you can pose a general question or a question on a specific collection, which you can then indicate. Mm -hmm. Type your question here, enter your uh, user attributes so that we can contact you again and simply submit the question.